The biggest threat facing the stock market right now. The stock market is considered the most important market in the world. However, in recent years some people have expressed concern that it might be on its way out. According to a study conducted by International Strategy and Investment Group, the stock market is the biggest threat to our economy. A new trend has emerged where people are more focused on cryptocurrencies instead of stocks. Some people are even predicting that cryptocurrencies might replace traditional fiat currencies in the near future. The stock market in the United States and the global market in general are vulnerable to a number of threats that could jeopardize their stability and lead to a market crash. Whether you believe that the stock market is a bubble or not, there is no denying that it has been experiencing a volatile year. Welcome to Stocks Galore, the place for those in passionate pursuit of financial freedom. Smash the like button now and subscribe to our channel to be notified when new videos are released. In this video, we will discuss what the biggest threats is to the stock market and what can be done to protect yourself from it. The biggest threat facing the stock market is one that has not yet manifested itself in a catastrophic way, but there are many potential scenarios that could cause a meltdown. Here are some of the most likely scenarios that could trigger an issue. A global recession will lead to a market crash. A global recession is the result of a market crash, which will lead to an economic downfall. The U.S. economy has already gone through many recessions in the past. This scenario would mostly affect developed countries like China, Germany, and Japan who have very high debt levels, compared to their GDP. This scenario would also affect other, similarly developed countries with high debt levels, such as South Korea and Italy because these economies rely heavily on foreign sources of capital to finance their growth. Companies will fail to deliver high growth causing investors to lose confidence in them. As the rate of growth slows, investors are becoming more skeptical. This process has been ongoing for quite some time now, and it seems to be experiencing a slight increase recently. There is not much that can be done to prevent this process, but there are ways that companies can successfully cope with it. The one major big threat facing the market right now is a global trade war. This essentially means any country going against international trade law and imposing tariffs on immigrants, goods from other countries, and products from other companies. The U.S. seems to be leading this movement on all three fronts with former President Trump increasing tariffs on China and Mexico while cutting taxes for corporations. Other countries have not been too happy with these changes either. In response to these tariffs, Canada imposed counter-tariffs on American steel. This caused the United States to increase its tariffs on Canadian steel by 25 percent. The economic impact of China-U.S. trade and its effect on the stock market China's booming economy has been a huge force in the world. China is now considered as one of the top three economies in terms of GDP and the second largest consumer market in the world. Its relationship with America has been somewhat rocky up. In 2017, President Trump announced Chinese imports were a national security threat and imposed tariffs on $200 billion worth of Chinese products. After that, China retaliated by imposing tariffs on $60 billion worth of U.S. goods. In this video, we will analyze the impact of China-U.S. trade on U.S. stock market performance and its effect on consumer confidence to assess its economic impact over time. The U.S. and China trade imbalance is a significant factor affecting the global economy and foreign exchange markets. The U.S. and China account for almost 75% of global manufacturing, which leads to an increased demand for the U.S. dollar. The trade deficit is also due to a limited supply of goods that can be made in America, as well as lack of new investments. The current trend in America is an increase of outsourcing, which has caused a loss of jobs and decreased wages. The Biden administration recently stated that it would not instantly eliminate the Trump administration's tariffs and would force Beijing to honor its trade obligations. Senior administration officials said that President Biden would not immediately lift tariffs on Chinese goods and that he would hold Beijing accountable for trade commitments made during the Trump administration, sending the strongest signal yet that the U.S. combative economic approach toward China would continue. One of the earliest glimpses into how the Biden administration expects to cope with China's mounting economic and security challenge came from Catherine Tai, the U.S. trade representative, and other officials. While Mr. Biden may have condemned the Trump administration's strong attitude, they suggested that his administration will continue to employ trade barriers and other punitive measures to address China's economic threats. 
This includes pressuring China to follow through on pledges made as part of the initial trade agreement reached with the U.S. in January 2020, as well as challenging China on the issue of subsidies it provides to give its industries a competitive advantage. According to Chad P. Bone, a senior scholar at the Peterson Institute for International Economics who tracks the purchases, China is on track to fall short of its 2021 purchasing pledges by more than 30 percent after falling short by more than 40 percent last year. China denies violating the trade agreement, claiming that the pandemic has created exceptional conditions. And I said in a speech at the Center for Strategic and International Studies in Washington that some of Beijing's unfair actions have harmed American workers and that the U.S. will continue to work with friends to combat them. Tai said she would start talking to her Chinese counterparts about the country's failure to follow through on its commitments in the coming days. Senior administration officials did not rule out the possibility of imposing additional tariffs on China if talks with Beijing did not yield the desired results, warning Beijing that they would use all available tools to defend the U.S. from state-directed industrial policies that harm its workers. According to people familiar with the discussions, the Office of the United States Trade Representative is considering opening an investigation into China's use of subsidies under the same legal statute that led to the Trump administration's tariffs, which could allow the U.S. to impose more tariffs or take other punitive measures. Ms. Tai declined to say if the U.S. would pursue such a probe when asked on Monday, but said she would look at all available options. How will trade war affect the stock market? The trade war that is in place with China and the mounting tensions in the Middle East and North Korea is already affecting the stock market. The trade war, which began when U.S. President Donald Trump announced a 25% tariff on $34 billion in Chinese goods, has long-term effects on stocks. Investors are waiting for more clarity about how this will impact the global economy before investing in certain companies or sectors of the market. The Top 5 Risk Factors for the Stock Market in 2021 Investors should take note of the five top risk factors to the stock market in 2021. These five risks could have a significant impact on the future price of stocks. 1. The Fed's losing control of growth, gross domestic product, the most commonly used measure of a country's economic growth, has been on a slow but steady decline since the 2008 recession. There are many reasons for this, including a drop in consumer spending and an aging population. However, some economists have begun to point out that the Federal Reserve is contributing to this trend by creating too much money through quantitative easing. This is because they are pumping money into the economy when stock markets are booming, which creates asset bubbles, real estate in particular. The Fed's losing control of growth has led to shrinking consumer spending and an aging population in the U.S., which has made it difficult for GDP to grow at all. 2. The U.S. dollar is higher than every other currency. Since the U.S. dollar is stronger than other currencies, it can be used to buy basic goods and services. There are a number of different factors that affect a country's currency, but it is true that the U.S. dollar is stronger than every other currency in the world. This means that when you travel to another country, you can make purchases in your home currency by converting it. 3. Aging population already spends more on retirement than on health care. As the aging population continues to increase, more people are looking for ways to stay healthy. They will still need medical care services as they age, but there are other options out there that can help them maintain their health without breaking the bank. Retirement funds have surpassed healthcare spending as the top expense for American households. The savings of millions of people who have retired is being spent on healthcare costs rather than on life necessities like food and clothing. This makes it even harder for those who are not retired to cover these costs because they don't have retirement funds saved up. Many experts predict that this trend will continue into 2020, with medical expenditures surpassing retirement funds by more than 20 percent. Researchers believe that the medical industry will need to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 5 percent in order to 4. The tech bubble will burst and uncover new trends that can cause a recession. Today, we're heading into an era where the tech bubble is about to burst and new trends will emerge. To put it bluntly, you might not be able to survive this bubble but this doesn't mean you should panic and withdraw your money from the market. Instead, take a step back and analyze what's going on in the market so that you can invest wisely in the future. The tech bubble will burst and uncover new trends that can cause a recession. The tech bubble will burst sooner or later. This means that many of the startups on today's stock markets are already going to fail. However, investors shouldn't be afraid of this bubble bursting because it will uncover new trends that can cause a recession soon after. 
These trends are ripe for investment opportunities, so stay patient. 5. China's GDP growth is slowing down, growing concerns about the future of the economy among businesses around the world. In the past couple of years, China has been the hottest economy around, but now it is experiencing a slowdown. The country's GDP growth has dropped to a three-year low. Many businesses have been worried about the future of the economy and have started to grow more cautious. China's economic growth has slowed down significantly in recent months as a result of a combination of slower global demand and less strong domestic consumption. As China has slowed down, its GDP growth is at its lowest point in over three years, with some expecting this trend to continue into 2021 and beyond. This shift in economic trends could lead to many countries following suit and struggling with their economies too. The global economy seems like it will be affected by China's slowdown due to their large impact on other countries. The three key reasons why the next major economic crisis will happen sooner than you think are the following. 1. The US economy is not growing at its best pace, which means that it is likely to hit a recession soon. 2. The US dollar has lost more than 30% of its value since January last year, which means that many corporations will struggle to pay their debts. 3. More businesses are shifting towards automation, and this is resulting in a lack of skilled human workers to fill all these vacancies, hence creating another bubble. The top five things to watch out for in the stock market of 2021. The stock market of 2021 and beyond is predicted to be very different from what we know today. Below are five things to watch out for in 2021. One, stock markets will become more automated. Two, blockchain technology will be more popular. Three, regulatory reform will affect all stocks. Four, inflationary trends. Five, changes to global warming. Conclusion. Sometimes, when we are in the middle of a recession or an economic collapse, it's hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel. We may feel like our job is not secure and that it can't get better anytime soon. However, if we take time to reflect on how things got to this point, we realize that there are always lessons to be learned in times of adversity. The private sector resilience is all about taking smart risks and working with your peers in order to build a future for yourself and your company. The future of the stock market is uncertain given the state of global economy and geopolitical tensions. However, there are some critical things we can learn from past and present economic and geopolitical developments that could help us come up with some solutions that would help us to deal with the meltdown in the stock market. So there you have it. If you enjoy this video, smash the like button now and subscribe to our channel to be notified when new videos are released.